made the final once back in 2016, came in ninth. Well, he's showing some hospitality to this motorcycle and sidecar as he carries it around in the circle. Brent, this is just like carrying a vending machine. Can you imagine the weight? You need your feet to provide the power, but your upper body has to be able to stabilize and hold on to that 660 pound weight. A cartoonish event. As soon as he drops it, it's done. But he doesn't appear to be doing that anytime soon. 572 is the distance to beat. He comes up short at 529. Nevertheless, very impressive Ladies from Matias Belshuk of Slovenia, currently in second. Belshuk just has tremendously balanced power. You can see the focus and determination there. The stabilization of the apparatus really is a key differentiator here, but Belshuk was impressive. From Great Britain. All right, up Lawrence next, Great Britain's Shelley. Lawrence Shalley. Yeah. Seeking his sixth finals appearance. His best finish in a final was fourth back in 2011. Interested to see how Shalley does here. He's more of a static lifter. So these events that require him to move aren't necessarily his strong suit. Looks like it's getting heavy there on him, Brent. <laughs> Not quite the same rhythm as we saw from Belshuk, and he settles for 233 degrees, which puts Chalet into fourth place. It's always interesting to see how these guys respond. Foot speed to me is an indicator of how comfortable the strongmen are under the weight of the apparatus. Those short, choppy steps by Shale were telling on him, and his results spoke for themselves. The best for him. From Iceland. Meantime, Half off to a roaring Julius start is Iceland's half-floor Julius Bjornsson. Again, he won Europe's strongest man, and the Arnolds as well here in 2018. Go! He's going for the trifecta. These sorts of events tend to favor the taller competitors. Half Thor is 6'9". The fulcrum creates a higher pivot point the taller you are, so it actually weighs a little bit less. And look at the steady feet of Half Thor. He looks strong here. 572 degrees. That is the mark to beat. And he looks well on his way. Now he's starting to wobble a little bit. He's starting to feel it. He's going to have to dig deep here, keep his breath going. He's looking good, Brent. Absolutely. He won it a full 40 degrees ahead of second place. And Thor off to a great Ladies start. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Half Thor Julius Bjornsson. Oh, man, Half Thor's making it look easy. Looks like he's asleep at the wheel there, Brent. <laughs> But he wasn't sleeping on his results. Just another impressive start by the Icelandic giant. 